Welcome back, one all the more. Trails in the Sky third. Last time we left off, we took on one of the uh, star doors, and now, time to take on the moon door. Bring to me the darling of pure white radiance and proof of her scholarship. Only then, only then shall the door open. So we needed Chloe in the party, and we needed an, an item called, uh, basically her great reports, which is at the end of the last dungeon, so, yeah. I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Spring came, but it took far more time doing so than the average year. One by one, the magnolia flowers begin to show their faces to the world as if reluctant to let their long, long slumber end. And with the changing of the seasons, a brand new student of the infamous Janice Royal Academy set foot into its grounds, slightly later than her peers. Well, here I am. Okay, I can do this. So that's our famous transfer student, huh? How would you get up on the roof? A hawk? Nah, seems more like a falcon. How are you on the roof, my dude? I swore to myself that I would stop relying on other people. I had enough to I had enough of being restricted on how to live and how to live. I'd had enough of following the rails laid out for me by other people. I was going to put my own two feet on the ground and start living my own life by myself. That was my resolve, and I intended, and I intended to abide by it. But somewhere in my heart, I had already realized that resolve of mine was nothing more than an excuse. Social Studies Classroom, First Year Joint Class. Settle down, settle down, I've got someone to introduce you all to. This is our new transfer student, Chloe Rins. She's going to be studying uh, social studies, apparently. You'll be with me then. Well, why don't you introduce yourself to the class? Of course. My name is Chloe Rins, and starting today, I will be a first year student at this academy. I've been looking forward to, be to beginning my life at this wonderful academy for some time. So I'm truly delight, delighted to be here. It's an honor to be able to count myself among your number. I'm still an experienced child in many ways, so I fear I may cause you all trouble in, coming, in the coming days and weeks. But I intend to work as hard as I can for the betterment of myself, my class, and my school. So I do hope we can all get along. I sure wasn't expecting a transfer student at this time of year. I wonder if she's from a rich family or something. She sure sounds stuffy, so it will fit. She's obviously got some kind of special circumstances to be enrolling in May. Excuse me, but I have a, I, I, but I, can I ask a question? Where, where do you live? You're from Liberal, right? Um, yes, I'm from Gransel. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, not especially. What, for reals? That's kind of boring. Still, no matter how much I think about it, nothing comes to mind. I suppose I could say making sweets. I don't feel like I do that enough for it to qualify as a hobby. Isn't the interest exam for transfer students supposed to be crazy hard? You must be really smart to be able to pass it. Harder than the one harder than the one the rest of us took. No way, that's that was nuts as it is. You you must be quite smart. Um okay class, that's enough. I'm sure you must all have things you want to ask our new student, but they can wait until after class. Go and take your seat, Chloe. 
Yes, ma'am. Alright then, time to get started with our lesson. If you would open your textbooks to page 23... Hmm, a mysterious transfer student. Now there's a surefire recipe for catching my interest. Oh dear! Two weeks passed at the academy. Despite the passing of time, the student's interest in the transfer student showed no sign of letting up. And soon she was to talk with the whole school. All anyone could on to talk about was her, how smart she was, how unusually polite she was, among other things. Her peers thought the formalities were largely due to the nerves and that she would naturally ease up over time, but the reality was somewhat different. I'm glad that's over. I'm glad I attended class today. We ended up covering so much. <laughs> Come on, Monica, it's time for practice. Coming! Oh dear, did everyone go home already? Oh, more like to the dorm. In some cases. I haven't handed out all, the, all these printouts yet. Oh, it's Miss Willa. What? No, it's not Willa, it's W-I-O-L- I'm gonna just call you Willa. She looks kinda like she needs some help with something. Maybe I could volunteer? No, no, it's not like the present. Um, Miss Willa, is, is, there, is there anything I can help you with? You seem rather troubled about something. Oh, well there is, but I feel a little bad asking you to help me with this. Um, well if you assist. Of course. Could you go and hand these out to all the social study students then? One each. They're rather important too, so try and see that everyone gets one. I'll get I'll get to work right away. Thank you very much. Okay, gotta run. There's a staff meeting starting soon. Damn, we'll make you different take a break. Let's see. This is the year. This is the list of this year's credits. No wonder she wanted these handed out right away. I might as well start with the students still here. After that, I can go and speak with the ones who have gone to their respective clubs as well, as well as the ones who have returned to their dorms. Okay, to work I go. I think. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there, I guess. Really? I had no idea. Well, the Republic is a pretty huge in terms of landmass and all. Just traveling on foot isn't going to cut it. You need more effective means of transportation. Excuse me. Oh, Chloe, hello. Can we help you with something? Well, you see, Miss Will has entrusted me with the task of giving printouts to all the social study students. Hey, it's a list of all our credits. Thanks, thanks for going out of your way to deliver these, Chloe. Not at all. I apologize for intruding on your conversation, too. I'll get out of your way now. Have a good day. Oh, right. How crazy polite is she, huh? Yeah, I guess. She's a bit too polite, though, if you ask me. It makes it hard to feel comfortable talking to her. It's a double-edged sword, that politeness. Alright, so the first one should be in the boys' dormitory, which is... One of these two buildings over here! <laughs> of course, they're labeled. No, it's just the auditorium. Where are the dorms again? Girl storm. Okay, but someone should be here. I have to go to the boys' dorm first. Apparently, the girls' one doesn't open up till after all the other events have passed. Huh? I know you, Chloe Renz, wasn't it? Do you meet? Do you have some business with me? 
Well, not personally, no. I've been entrusted with the task of giving a printout to you by Miss Willa. This is a list of this year's credits. What? Joint classes seem to be worth an awful lot while we're first years. Wait, physical education is worth five whole credits? Adios, help me. Um, I suppose I should probably leave him alone for a while. Well, if you'll excuse me. Wait a moment, yes? Oh no. It's just that according to this printout, our examinations will be taking place in, in six weeks' time. Make sure you study thoroughly for them. I don't want to hear any excuses if you don't strive for the top. Absolutely. I'll devote myself fully to my studies. That was kind of nice of him. You know, even though he's panicking about his hunger, he's like, Yo! Uh, we're gonna, we got a test coming up. Don't, uh, don't screw up. Anyway, the auditorium, right, for the next one. The backstage. The other backstage. Oh, it is you, Monica. Finally, we've been waiting for you, you know. Oh, uh, my. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. What do you. You didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who made a mistake. Uh, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Like I said, I was the one who made a mistake. Okay, stop right there. I don't, don't mind her, Chloe. She's kind of slow on the uptake of times like these. If she needs something from us, though, well, we're gonna start practice soon, so we can't hang around and talk long. Oh, I see. Still, I'm relatively sure that Carla is a, is a social studies student. This doesn't seem like the best time to be intruding on them. Maybe it'll be best to excuse myself now and come back later. Um, I know you came to watch this practice because you're thinking about joining the club, right? Awesome, we'd be stoked to have you as a member. You might want to let her speak before busting into the, busting out the confetti and streamers. Seriously, just ignore her, Chloe. If you don't, if you don't, we'll be here all day. We really need to start soon, though. So can you make whatever you need, whatever you need, quick? Oh, um, oh, sure, sorry, sure. Well, I just can't deliver this. That's all. Oh, uh, this is this is what you came for? A credits list? I got my hopes up for nothing. Boo. I'm sorry about that. But yes, this is all I wanted, so I'll let you go ahead and start practice. Oh, thanks. She's kind of weird, right? She's the mysterious transfer student everyone's talking about. You wouldn't expect her to be you wouldn't expect her to be too normal. Uh, that's her, huh? I wish she'd stayed and joined the club. <laughs> yeah. I gotta step behind the stairs. Alright. Yeah. Adios, help us. Where is that loser? I thought we'd have found him by now. Lucy, I'm not sure I can stand uh, stand much more of this. Stop your whining, you. I bet you've secretly been slacking off with your search the whole time, haven't you? I have not. I just don't get it. We're swimming in eyewitness reports from him, but us running into him. It's not happening. Why? I don't think our, our odds of capturing him today are especially high, Leo. What, what should we do? I suppose we'll have to f have to do what we can without him for now. The two of us can handle the majority of the student council's work, but we are going to need his approval in the end, so you two need to keep up the search, find him as soon as possible. Right. I'll see you two later. Righto. Well, I guess we better get back to work. If we, if we must. Oh, hey, Chloe. Huh, Chloe. What brings you here with the pile of printouts in hand? Oh, um, well, I'm just helping Miss Willow with some work, with some of her work, you see. By going around after class giving out printouts? You're, you're one model student. I would have turned her down if I was in your situation. I mean, position. Uh, well, how about this? Why don't we, why don't we give you a hand with it? The two of us are going to be walking around the school for a while because, because some of our work, anyway. So, so it'll be a little skin off our backs. 
I really don't mind to, to trouble you. I was the one who set up this task, so it was my duty to see it through to the end. Well, if, you, if you'll excuse me, I should probably be getting back to it. Good luck with your own work. So, like, guess who's sharing a room with her? Me. Oh, really? She's supposed to be a real genius from all I've heard about her. Sounds like one convenient roommate at room arrangement if you ever find yourself stuck on homework. Well, I guess you could see it that way, but it's like, I don't know. She's really pleasant and polite and all, but it's sorta... It's like she doesn't want to be super close to anybody. Yeah, I get what you mean. But if you're sharing your room with her, you can't be total strangers, right? Don't you talk sometimes? Not really. Hi and goodnight is about the most... about most... is the most we do, to be honest. Wish I could talk to her normally. Where's the club room? Is it this room? Yep, here it is. There she is. Hi. Uh, oh, you're doing transfer student? Yes, that's right. Am um, I? I take it this is your first time coming to the to this, to, to this room. I also need to be so nervous. I'm a student council vice president, Lucy Silen. Here's our secretary and accountant, Leo. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're you're very welcome to come here whenever you like. She's so pretty. Um, my name is Chloe Rance. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Your academic life here probably isn't going to be all smooth sailing. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Just try and enjoy yourself. I believe in you. Thank you. Uh, didn't I have to hand her a printout? It's like someone's getting charged. It's like someone's getting changed. Should probably come back later. Is there another club room in this hall? No, that's the dean's office. Humanities room. Okay, so I have to find. I was supposed to, I was supposed to give her a printout, but I guess not. Somewhere in the old schoolhouse, let me check there. Ah, oh, the back road. Hey, Ricky. Where, why are you here? Why are we here? Spring is coming yet, and my heart is still the middle of winter. Now, why does everything in my life have to go wrong? Um, excuse me. Oh, I know you. You're the transfer student, right? I wish I was a smart I wish I was smart like you. Um, Miss Willow told me to deliver this to you. I shouldn't even I shouldn't even need this. I should have graduated, but I'm still here. But here I am, redoing the year again. What? I can't believe I have to do my third year all over again. This is the worst. I was so I was full of hope when my when I first enrolled here, and look at me now. Um I'm not sure what to say in this situation. Hey there, you look like you're look like you're in a hurry. If you're looking for if you're looking for social studies students, there's one standing right here, Anton. Personally I think you he made a major mistake picking that course in the first place, so he's not built for that work. So there should be one last one to give. That should be in the school's, uh... Should 
be in the locker room, apparently. Guess I am using a guy, because I don't want to run over the schoolhouse. This place is huge! Where could have gone? Oh, there it is for you. Um, excuse me. Oh, you're a transfer student, right, Chloe? You need something from me? Yes, actually. You see, Miss Will asked me to deliver these. Oh, it's our credit list. Oh, there's so many classes here. Being a second year seems like it's gonna be rough. I'm surprised you went out of your way to deliver these. Not like there was any rush. Huh? You really think so? Yes, you forgot to hand them out last year, too. We got them eventually, but it's like forever away we should we should have. She she might she might be pretty, but she's the kind of not all there, if you know what I mean. She you might want to watch your back, okay? Like you're obviously a nice girl, so I don't so if you don't, she might if you don't she might end up taking advantage of you. There you are, Monica. You do realize we can't start without you, right? Oops, sorry, I'm coming now. I'll see you later, Chloe. Thanks for delivering that printout for me. Oh, not really. No, not at all. She was just so sad when she heard that news. But, but I need to keep doing what I can. Maybe I was desperate to cling on to something to keep from losing sight of myself. The world made it seem like you could only broaden your horizons by interacting with others. But there I was, stubbornly refusing to come out of my shell. Or was it really stubbornness? In some weird way I can't explain, it was more like obsessing over the idea that I could grow as long as I pushed myself. It's not like I wanted to be left behind, it's not like I wanted to be all alone. As long as I tried hard enough, maybe I could one day stop feeling like I was always, always running in place. Hold on a minute. I don't have a printout left for me. I wonder if I left mine in the classroom. I, I, I must have. I, I better go back and get it. Keep going on like this. So yeah, the transfer student came by earlier. Oh, the super smart one? Yeah, anyway, so yeah. Um I should hurry back to my room and get over and go over what we learned in class. I need to go over our credit list again, too. <sighs> I'm feeling kind of tired. there, pretty lady. You're the student council president, right? Yep, yeah, bingo. Name's Letcher. Sure is a gorgeous sunset today, huh? Um, yes it is. So what are your impressions of the academy? Well, um, I think it's a wonderful place. It's well equipped in terms of facilities, for one thing. It one thing, it has everything needed for a really good cult. Cult. <clears throat> cult. I cannot pronounce it sometimes. A real, to really cultivate a good environment for learning, and I'm happy to have chosen it. <laughs> uh, my hunch is right on the money. I knew you'd take it to that. I knew you'd take it that way. As opposed to. I'm sorry, did I misunderstand you? Well, I was more asking about your life at the academy outside of all the books and junk. 
maybe it's just me, but you don't really seem to be letting loose or having fun. Um, well, I do still feel as though I'm still adjusting to life here, so there's a lot that I have to learn. But I'll keep working as hard as I can on doing so, I promise. Was that really what you came here to do, though? Pardon me? <laughs> Man, you're too serious. Have you ever tried playing hooky, like, ever at least once? Um... I might not look the part, but I am student council president, you know. Our work's pretty darn, pretty darn easy, too. What do you think? Are you inviting me to join? Only if you have a thing for long nights filled with exciting paperwork and super duper enthralling schedules. I was hoping for some kind of reaction. If he's a president, there must be something respectable about him, but I'm not seeing it. How do I put this? I feel like I couldn't trust him with as much as a 10 mirror coin. Whoops. After Milo was bugging me all about showing up to lessons once in a while, I should probably cough up some new excuses to ditch. I mean, I could go, but where's the fun in that? Pissing her off's like what, like watching a pot boil over, though. So whatever crap I make, I make up better be really convincing. Yep, I think my instincts were dead on. I should probably be heading back to my dormitory now. You might want to watch how you stand when you're kicking it when you're kicking it down here. My view's awesome if you catch my drift. Excuse me. <laughs> That's the boys' dorm. <laughs> oh boy, this one's gonna be like pulling teeth. Several days later, after classes. An, an, an anonymous body... An aunt, ah, body an, an autonomous body run by students. For students responsible for maintaining order and overseeing student activities. And most of them, and their most important duty of all, is searching for their president. He's not here either. Where is that ruffian? I'm sh I was sure he think he got us and came back to the council room this time. Sure of it. I swear every time we do manage to find him, he gets a thousand times more more capable of hiding from us. Where wherever could he be? We've searched the school buildings, we've searched the dorms. Where's left the shrubs on the ground? Uh, he's, he's just taunting us now. Get it together, Hans. We're gonna find. We're gonna. If we're gonna. We're going to find him, and we're going to force feed him every single piece of paperwork he's got piling up. Right on. Hey, Hunk Chloe, what are you doing sitting here? Oh, hello. I just had a little free time, so I thought it would. I'll, I'll use it productively. Is that lesson prep work? Man, you're so dedicated. I think I can see how you're able to pass the legendary transfer student exam. Um, it's really just something to pass the time. 